first race was a long time ago, 20 years ago. My, I guess my introduction to the sport was more the, the swim running races, which are called biathlon. A guy I went through university with, he was at my house one day, he knew I was interested in triathlons, that I used to watch them and he was a cyclist. You know, I think he saw I had some schoolboy trophies from athletics and swimming and he said, you know, I can help you with the cycling side of things. We bought a bike out of the newspaper, the trading post as it was called. I think it was on like a Wednesday or Thursday and I did my first race on the Sunday. It was in the summer of 93, 94, so it feels like yesterday. I think the longer races are interesting because they require a lot of physical preparation, but also I've always said the last hour or two of the, the long races, the Ironman races, are as much a mental test as they are physical. So it's interesting because I think the physical conditioning and the training that you need to do, a lot of long hours, often by yourself, it does toughen you up mentally. My advice to someone starting in the sport would be, first of all, to train consistently. I think that's the greatest piece of advice I can give. It's the old saying, Rome wasn't built in a day. You're not going to take the sport up with no background and then think you're going to go out and do an eight hour race or a 15 hour race. You've got to lay down the building blocks and the foundations like anything. And I would start with the shorter races, the sprint distance races and even the Olympic distance. That's how I started and I did those for a long time before I stepped up and did a half Ironman. And then it was a long time, a very long time until I did a full distance Ironman race. So I think be patient, be consistent with your training and, and try and add a social aspect to it so the training's not so monotonous because it, it can get that way, particularly for the longer races. Uh, maybe join a training squad or a, or a squad swim program. I think it makes it a lot easier on the days where the motivation is low. I think overriding all of that, you need to have a passion for it. I think if you've got a passion for doing the sport and you truly love to do it, you'll be able to, you'll be able to do it.